welcome back to Rounds on Bikes Basecamp. Today I want to start with reading a, a comment I got on my uh, episode 5 of the uh, series. As you, if you saw that episode, you know that I asked how I could get off the, uh, the valve cover. And uh, I would like to say thank you to uh, Vlad Wallas who sent me this uh, or commented like this on this. There are four extra bol bo bolts holding the valve cover. They are hidden under the center sub cover uh, where the breather hose connects to. So I was on the right track when I uh, took that up. Yeah, I didn't, get, I didn't go all the way. Uh, also, the rubber seals there might not be uh, have to be replaced. Uh, if they're not damaged, cracked, turned into plastic after years of uh, ex existence. Uh, then, with all the bolts out, you'll need to give the cover a tap. Take uh, your time, don't go crazy with it. No hard beating! Exclamation mark. Right. And I'll tell you, it's really good because I uploaded the video and less than an hour later I had this solution. So I'm gonna crack on with this and see if I can manage to get the valve cover off then, finally. That doesn't look too bad actually. Maybe I get away with it. Oh. This actually looks really, really shite. So I'm happy that I bought a new one. So what I wanna do is I wanna get the old gasket out, or the seal, O-ring, whatever you wanna call it, and then clean up this, uh, this area around thoroughly. This one goes in the bin. It is now the next day because in the middle of working here my wife came running through the garage door and she said Rickard from work just called and he asked if you're aware of the fact that you're working today at two o'clock and I'm like no I'm not working today what's the time I asked her and she said it's ten past two so I went and checked my work schedule and yes I had a new work schedule and I was supposed to work yesterday, so today is the next day. Anyway, uh, all the fun and games, hey? So let's carry on with the um, valve cover. place all we need to do now is to torque all of them down to the right uh, pump So 
So I took the old um, spark plugs out and I have new fresh ones here. So I'm going to put them in and then could actually start with um, getting the tank back on and stuff. Nice huh? Let's see if we can get the tachometer cable in correctly. This slot is diagonal there. So you just need to make sure that this one, the little pin here, is the same way, which it is now. Now wish me luck. There. Click. I hope that was the right click, so it wasn't like I just broke the pin click. I guess we're gonna find out soon enough. Lock screw in place. Now, I don't know if you remember, but I also discovered the, the clutch cable coming a weird way here. So I'm gonna try to um, fix that as well. I might just as well uh, give this a little bit of a polish as well while I'm while I have it free. While the uh, touch-up paint on the clutch handle is drying, I thought I'd put some bling on. Ooh, I've been polishing on the front fender and it looks quite nice actually. It's okay. I'm not, I've said before, this is not, you know, whoa, exhibition. This is just making it look nice again and fresh. So this is totally okay. So yeah, and I also painted these little hooks for the, for the uh, brake cables. And yeah, let's put it on. nice again it's working it's not taking a very long route around here just gonna attach a little bit like this and uh, then we're done so I think that's gonna be all for today and what a day it's been very productive and good so 
Yeah, it's coming along nicely, I think. It looks pretty and it uh, hopefully will run well as well. So, yeah. Alright, see you next time. If you like my videos, don't forget to click the subscribe button. And if you want to join the Around on a Bike community, get some stickers or maybe postcards from my trips, uh, go to my Patreon page and you find the link uh, in the description below.